Uh, hi everybody. My name is uh, Dr. Jalil. I'm an amateur photographer uh, with a special interest in macro photography. Today I will be presenting my first creative macro photography video in my YouTube channel. The purpose of this uh, venture is basically share my ideas and share my experience of macro photography on my tabletop studio. Today, I'll be using tiger moth, black colored, beautiful looking tiger moth as a subject. See, there are two moths, live moths, in this plastic box. They're sleeping now. And uh, later in this part of this video, I'll show you how I prepare my sample, some creative macro photography with this. But right at this moment, first I'd like to explain what camera gears I have used for this macro photography. Let me show you my camera setup for this creative macro photography. This is my camera, the Sony A7 R3, a full frame mirrorless camera. And this one is Sony 50 millimeter macro lens, you can see here. And with an extension ring, attached to it, 10 millimeter extension ring. And I've put one Renox TCR250 to get some more magnification. And I'll be using a uh, manual setup. And finally, this is the flash Godox P350. This is my flash and I'll be using one DIY a diffuser. This is, I made it myself for diffusion. In future, I have a plan to explain how to make this diffusers and how it works with Mac. This is an essential part of macro photography. I'm going to start shooting of my subject. This is my wheel for focusing. I'm not touching the camera for focusing. The my camera mount is has got an uh, wheel from where I can shift the camera up and down or forth and backward. And I've used one additional lighting, uh, you can see a torch light to give an impact of shade on my subject. And you can see I'm using the click button, uh, click shutter, so that I don't need to touch the camera while shooting my subject. This is because uh, for macro photography, the focusing is very sensitive. The depth of field is very shallow. At this moment, I'm using F10 and shutter speed one by 80, ISO 200. And I'll be doing some other shooting with some other setting to see which one comes best. Now, let me start focusing and then click. Yes. Now another one. Now I'm going to change the position. 
of my subject by moving this a little bit and okay little bit up now I'll take a few more snaps in this position now I have uh, shifted my subject to another place with a different angle and let me see how it comes okay I'll start clicking now almost uh, at the end of the video or my presentation now I'll explain uh, how I made my sample or the subject first I'll show you my device this is a sample holder which I can move up and down for adjusting the height and this is actually the sample holder where I can move this base to set the angle. When I put it over there, I can turn this almost 360 degree to set the right angle or change the position of the subject. So for this creative macrography, I have used a white flower. As you have seen these photographs, this one is a white flower where I, I'll put it, put it in this hole. So this can stay straight. And now you see, I can turn this flower in 360 degree. And also I can shift the angle almost 70 degree. This box, as I have shown you before, has got two tiger moth, which are live. They are flying subject. They can fly away anytime if you don't treat it properly. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this box in a freezer for three to four minutes. So within three to four minutes, this uh, moth will be slipping or they will freeze. They will not freeze, but with the cold, it will, it will lose its flying ability. So when I take it out from the freezer and put it over the flower, it will take another three to four minutes or maybe five minutes to wake, wake it up. They will walk around they will move their wings, they will move their legs and the antenna, but they will lose their flying ability. So that is the tricks of getting shots from a flying subject. This is very simple and very convenient techniques. This one, I will be using a green leaf, big size. I will be using as a background. So if you're interested, please subscribe it and put your comments or please share your ideas with me so that I can define my uh, photography. Thank you very much.